Hey guys, just um, starting off with a bang here because I forgot I have to make a correction. Um, so these are going to be a single pattern pack on the website for like four bucks. You get the horizontal and the vertical versions. They are riveted, stitchless, and you can go with a snap. This is, well, this is snap too, but I would highly suggest going with either a 16 or 18 millimeter um, magnetic clasp from Buckle Guy because it makes this thing pretty much indestructible. There's nothing to break on a magnetic clasp. So I don't think I mentioned that in the video and Tyler was done using this pattern. We used it, uh, he used it to raise funds to run the Boston Marathon. And so he was like, hey, I'm done with it. You can sell it on your site now. And I didn't want it to just be kind of a single pattern. So uh, in the spirit of the holiday shows coming up and stuff, these make great little gifts. You can bang them out for 30 bucks and still make profit. So here's how to make the vertical version. Hey everybody. So today we have a pretty quick project. Uh, the next month or so, I worked really hard on designing just riveted pieces that you can make quick, sell it uh, markets, holiday markets, that sort of thing, and really get your money's worth uh, out of your own labor. So this piece is the vertical companion to the riveted wallet that we did in support of Tyler from HFA Goods. Uh, we raised money for him running the Boston Marathon. He doesn't need it anymore because he raised his money. So he was like, hey, you can take the pattern back. And I was like, okay, I want to have a vertical version to go with it. Now, there are a couple differences. As you can see, the footprint is not the same. This is smaller, this vertical one. Uh, and I made this out of five and a half ounce leather just to see how, this is about as thick as you would ever want to go on this design. I suggest more of a three, four. This is the three, four ounce option for the Newbury Leathers Buffalo. Um, and as you can see, it's a really beautiful piece. So I already did the cutout because basically all you do is cut it out. If you want to do any edge burnishing um, or slick back, anything, um, go for it. And then we basically just have to assemble it. So let's get into it. To make this design feel a little bit more premium, um, so you could do this with a line 20 snap and it's a snap, uh, but we're going to be using some of Buckle Guy's magnetic snaps. Uh, they're nice because they have just the rivet top. You don't have to put any backing in them or anything. And uh, there's a setter. You can, you can hear the cats trying to get out in the background. Um, there's a setter for the press. It takes 10 seconds and it just feels that much more luxurious. Um, it's just a higher end feel and it matches pretty much the size of the rivets. So there's nothing wrong with using line 20s. Um, I'm just absolutely obsessed. This is the 18 millimeter. So we know it's gonna stay closed. Uh, you can go with the 16 millimeter too. Uh, 14, I'm not sure, it depends on the leather. So you wanna make sure that you don't sell or make this for someone and their cards start falling out because the magnet's not strong enough. Um, so I'm using the strongest one there is. There's a three piece die set for this, for these. And um, the first one we're gonna do, I don't know actually which one this is. This is the, okay, so I, I use the part that sticks out for the top. And that's just gonna go in our hole. And then our button cap is gonna go on the top and it'll click in just like a double cap rivet. Now this press isn't attached to anything because I just got it. So excuse the wiggle if there's a wiggle. Now what I like to do is I like to go about halfway, make sure I'm centered the way I am. I want to be, which I wasn't and now I am. So I'm ready to crank down on this and get it fully installed. And that's just a good practice. Um, this pattern is cut out so that the thing that I kind of usually do is I, instead of like a, you know, just a little thumb grab thing, um, I size this one so that it, with the 18 millimeter, it pretty much goes right to the edge. So it's not gonna ever get floppy because it's, it's brass. So. Uh, we're just going to switch this out and you can see this one has a raised portion because the piece we're setting has the opposite 
uh, it's an any, and it comes with a little protective plastic that is nice. You can leave it on when you ship it out or whatever. Um, this part two, we're gonna, Oop, like I said, this press isn't installed yet. So, so I'm gonna make sure this is exactly where I want it centered. And then I'm gonna put that down and use both hands to fully set it. And there we go. So we have our receiving end and our clasp that you will see on the outside. So for setting the rivets, um, I'm not gonna use the press. I'm actually gonna use a cobbler's anvil. And the reason for that is because we gotta stick this thing way in to set these bottom rivets. So I'm actually going to only use the top section of the rivet setter, the manual hand setter, and the bottom section is gonna be this. So first you wanna take your pattern, kinda of get some folds in it, get the leather used to doing what it needs to do. Um, and then your inside is gonna be this part. So I go bottom first, but we're gonna want all four rivets in. And by in, I mean, we're gonna put that in and then we're gonna clip that in so that all four of these are not installed, but they're sitting where they're gonna be because you do have to kind of shimmy things to make it perfect. And it's not, I don't mean shimmy in a bad way, I just mean the nature of this design. I don't even know, sorry, I'm just getting used to filming by myself here. Um, So what I do is I clip all four of the rivets in, and this is in the video for this one too. Um, it's just a little bit different on the vertical version because it's a further distance from like in, so it's a little more difficult, but not difficult. Um, just there's a little more nuance to it, put it that way, um, doing the vertical one. So you can see, now we know what it's pretty much gonna look like. We just have to set the rivets. I'll show you how to do that now. So to set our bottom rivet, instead of going in our shoehorn like this, we want to go and squish. So this is the wallet close. We want to turn it sideways and squish. Then we can get our rivet just in there enough. And you want to make sure this part's nice and tight. And we'll catch the end of that shoehorn. That's one, and you can see we kind of have that shape, and the other one's ready to be set. Wait, which one did I set? Okay, this one needs to be set. And it's leather. Don't be afraid to move it around, but also make sure that this is flat, because if you have a bump in it like that, and you hammer this down, that bump's going to stay there. So you want to kind of, it's like a push and pull, and it's, it's a lot easier than it looks. Um, and I know it doesn't look that terribly difficult, but when you get into it, you're like, oh, i got to make sure this is perfect. You don't if you set these two top rivets right and you cut the pattern out correctly. And that's it. Okay, and so here we go. So I hope the leather is done justice in this lighting, but this stuff is so beautiful. Um, so here's our back. Simple, but it looks really nice. And then this is the big difference. So I have the horizontal version here, and I didn't just want like a vertical version of the horizontal one. They look identical on the back. Um, just nice, simple, riveted closures, one pocket. The big difference is on the horizontal one, you can see there's a couple cards in there. You could hold probably 30 or 40 cards or like a tube of chapstick or coins or whatever. Whereas with the vertical, it's a bit smaller. So you see how close those cards are there. And you can fit a bunch, there's five in there, and there's room for probably five or seven more. Um, but it's exactly the size of credit cards. You can fold, you can put folded cash in it, you can do whatever you want. Um, however, it is a little bit more trim. So it's gonna be your more slender option. Um, I didn't wanna just put out like this 
but vertical. So yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.